Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Barnstormer BMW in Alton. Now Barnstormer have very kindly lent us one of their used 1250s because we want to do a comparison between this new beautiful Tramontana 1300 with the 1250. We've of course got Gregorio with us. Hello. You're on the. You're going to start off on the on the rally version. What's the spec on that one, Greg? So this is uh, the 1250 rally. It's got the electronic suspension. It's pretty well spec bike. So I think in terms of a comparison to the 1300, they're probably as close as you can pretty get. Close. So it should be a very good, fair comparison. Just want to see whether this is more comfortable, less comfortable. Uh, gauge the difference on the power. The gearbox is something that we're yeah. very intrigued to understand because I think the 1300 is reported to be better. Yeah, yeah. So I've, uh, I've, I've be been good. I've been riding this for the last month. And and I've sort of really liked the gearbox and everything and it's going to be really interesting to compare what they've done compared to the 1250. Obviously it's got a lot more toys, a lot more tech, but it's more about the riding dynamics of the bikes. How do they compare? Yeah, yeah, so if that definitely. sounds of interest, grab yourself a cuppa because it's bloody freezing and chop seat, roll the intro. Right, so first of all, before we get going, massive thanks to Barnstormer for making the bike available to us. Absolutely brilliant. I'm really looking forward to this, mate. Did you see my video I did on this? I did a review on this. It only went up today. I see, saw a little bit of it. A little, a little bit. bit. I absolutely love this thing. And it's sort of, it's converting me into a bit of a GS fan, I hate to say it. What's <laughs> happening? I what know. is happening? So you start on the, uh, you start on the 1250. <laughs> you can't start running off the stand. <laughs> It needs to have a lowering suspension like this one to make it easier. <laughs> so you start on the rally, I'll start on the Tramontana, and then we'll do a swap after a little while, and then just see those initial initial first impressions between them. See, because my, because the Tramontana's got the optional, I think it's dynamic height control, I think it's called, the up and down suspension, it's nice and low to get on and move around as well, so I do like that. Right, let's do it. I don't think we're going to be doing any off-road as part of this video, are we? So, <laughs> I hope not. I can't even go with big puddles when I'm off-road. So I haven't ridden a GS of any variety in a long while. You used to own one, didn't you? And, and tell us a bit about why you sold it, because you didn't keep it very long, did you? No, so I bought a 1200 GSA, so the GS Adventure. Uh, I'm trying to think what year it was, probably about 2017, I think it was. And it was good, it was nice, but I bought it for a specific purpose, which was to do fairly long commutes on it without getting caught in traffic. And then work-wise, it didn't work out in that manner. I didn't need it, so I got rid of it, is the long and short of it. But for its intended purpose, it was good. I didn't love it, but I didn't buy it to love it. I bought it as a tool that would be practical, beat the traffic, and you know, you could ride on damp and pretty messy roads and it wouldn't matter and all that sort of stuff. So. Yeah, I liked it. What, what didn't you like about it? Because you, you, you didn't like the gearbox on it, did you, on the 1200? Gear, the gearbox is my biggest gripe. Um, it's a bit vibey when you revved it. It's a little bit cumbersome on the handling. Uh, it, it, and again, it, it was everything I thought it would be. But, you know, I, I, I could never see myself at that point owning one to have as a hobby bike. It wasn't my sort of thing. Um, but I guess this 1250, has moved the game on since that 1200 that I owned and I'm sure the 1300 has moved the game on a little bit more but um, I don't want to get too sucked in personally today in thinking that everything new is therefore automatically better because it may not be and this you know this 1250 might be better you know I'm not a massive lover of all the sort of gadgetry that you get on the new bikes now because I think some of it is just a little bit unnecessary so I'll be intrigued to know whether the 1300 is worth all that gadgetry or whether some of it's just a little bit of a waste of time in my opinion that that's a very good point you know that's this is why i wanted to do this test because newer it's not always better is it For, first of all you know on paper this bike is better it's still got another 10 horsepower another 10 new meters of torque it's lighter you know it's got more tech it's it's a bit more compact the engine and gearbox has been reworked but you know how much of a difference is that really going to make and that's what we want to really get out of this of this comparison Person, isn't it? What's your first thoughts on that 1250 then Greg? I'm glad you asked actually. My first impressions are it is very very nice, really civilised, it's certainly comfortable and I can tell you already that the gearbox certainly on this particular bike feels better than my 1200 GSA. It's um, It feels pretty smooth actually so if that 
1300s any better i could i could live with this as it is already that's what i would say and yeah the ergos is so comfortable you know your hands just sit naturally and your arms and the bars i like where the pegs are it feels very nice getting a bit of wind definitely on the lid a little bit of wind on your helmet <laughs> well it is, it is only two degrees it's to be expected <laughs> Get some thicker trousers. He started already. He started already. So let's see what the uh, overtakes are like. Fourth gear, 50. Yeah, it's nice, easy. I've got to say the 12 fit the 1250 is it's really nice. I think this is the first time I've ever ridden even the 1250, and um, I, I think this is. You know, if, if I didn't ride the 1300 and I was just rode this today, I'd be going, actually, it's really nice. Very smooth, lovely torque curve, comfy. The suspension is really plush. It's good. It's lovely, isn't it? And I, when there, there is a big jump between the 1200 and 1250, because I, I did a comparison of those two when the 1250 came out, and I much preferred the 1250. Yeah, I'm not surprised. This is not, this is, feels like a lot nicer than my 1200. What gear are you in now, sixth gear? I was in fifth, I've just gone down to fourth, actually. Put it in fourth gear and you do like a, an overtake, full power overtake. Yeah. There's so much grunt, isn't it? From low down, from 2,000 revs, absolutely. It's easy. It's just hold back a little bit. I'm just going to see what the brakes are like, if that's all right. Yeah, not too bad. I wouldn't say that. Not the best brakes I've ever felt. Well, that's a test to do with the, uh, you'll see what the 1300 is like in a minute. Yeah, because that's got different brakes to this, isn't it? It has, yeah. And this version has, I think, the dynamic pack, so that you get a slightly different caliper on this version, a slightly more sporty caliper feel, and maybe some different brake pads as well, because this, the brakes on this are mu feel really good, they're really sharp. They're not M1000R brakes, no. you know I mean? You're putting a lot more weight up, but they've got a nice bite and a nice feel to them. Let's pull over and we we'll do a little quick swap. We we'll do lots of swaps during this video. So first impressions of that then, Greg. You quite like that, yeah? Better than your 1250. Honestly, I'm 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 impressed. I'm surprised actually. It feels a lot nicer than my 1200. I, and admittedly, it was a while ago. Yeah. But the, there's no way it was that smooth. It felt more agricultural. Well, let's see what you think to the uh, green beauty. How big are the keys? Let's have a, have a comparison of key size. Oh, yeah, it's, quite, it's, quite, a... it's quite low. Oh, oh cool, the 13 that's keys. That's bigger, isn't it? Yeah. Blimey. Bigger capacity, bigger key. That's the way it works, you see. <laughs> oh, it, suit, it suits you, mate. It suits you. I, I can see something new coming in the stable. <laughs> okay, is this now automatically lowering as, yes. as we've So you see that? That says it's, oh. it's on low now. So it's how it. the height feel? Yeah. feel lower than that one? That's got a low seat option by the look of it, or it's very low to see yeah, on that, that. This still feels slightly lower than that at a standstill. Yeah. But that didn't feel intimidatingly high either. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go. So the old 1250, it's been a little while since I've tried the 1250. This has uh, been a few years. I think the heated grips on this one, you do have a separate button, which is nice, but you've only got two levels of heated grips. You've got three levels on the uh, 1300, mate. It's worth buying just for that reason alone. Oh, this feels very different, actually. Very, very, I feel much, I know the seat is low, so it feels a bit more cramped in the leg, but I think that's because the seat is in the low option and the gearbox is a lot more of a jump into gear but, but the quick shift is a lot more initially clunky they do feel different though don't they actually quite surprised very different i think maybe you feel that you've got more sort of bike in front a bit higher the tank on this and yes de definitely you feel like you're sat in this a bit more maybe a bit more than the you yeah you've just hit the nail on the head i feel like i'm sat on this uh, whereas on the 1250 I feel like I was sat in it which could be part in part because of the low seat but also the tank is definitely a lot taller in the middle isn't it on the 1250 it is this looks like a bigger but I'm riding this the actual physical size of the bike in front of me is bigger it's, it's bigger I know it's got crash bars on so that's what makes it a little bit wider but it definitely feels bigger um, perhaps maybe a little bit more wind protection because of that because you're behind all of this a little bit more I've got to say though I mean whilst they do feel different and I think that but I don't think the riding position is different. The bike just feels a completely different shape beneath you. I think that aside, they do feel very similar. The riding position and the bar position, your sort of your foot position, I think is is really identical, isn't it? I think it, I think the riding position is more or less absolutely identical. 
Do you think that, because I think they both feel very refined for a boxer engine, and I don't think that the 1300 feels more refined, it feels the same, but I think the 1250 feels very refined, so that's probably why. Do you agree or not? Yeah, I would agree actually. Initially, I thought it maybe was a little bit more raw feeling, but it's, it's not much. It's not much at all, is it? No, not really. You can tell there's less grunt when you wind on. There's definitely a bit less grunt when you wind on the, the throttle. Um, but you can still, we still got loads of power, like to four, fourth gear at 2000 revs. There's still loads of grunt there, even on the 1250. That gearbox is a little bit more clunky for sure. I, I agree. I, I could totally live with the gearbox on the 1250, but I think the 1300, it's just another step forward and it is really, really quite nice. And you, I know that you might not think it's perfect, and I did pick up on your review of just the 1300 chops earlier and you said it you know it was good but not perfect it's good enough it isn't it it is good enough by far it's, it's good enough and actually this is probably good enough as well when you're used yes. to it isn't it but yeah. there is a yeah. definite slight slightly more refined i'd say it's sort of 20 percent more refined than how, how this one feels if i had to put a figure on it the suspension is completely overhauled on that and i was just looking at the the front fork legs while we were parked up and they're much bigger much more beefed up on the 1300 they're much more skinny on this but uh, actually you do still get quite a lot of feedback from the road on this version i thought this may feel a bit dull you'd know, have more of a dulled feel from the tarmac but it's not too bad you're getting a little we've got it in dynamic mode both of them but i'm still getting a bit of feedback from the tarmac which uh, i like that I'm actually feeling quite nervous because, truth be told, I quite like both of them. What's happening? <laughs> I know. Help! Help! It's, it, it's a bit shocking, isn't it? We're getting old, mate. That's the problem. <laughs> Already, I just, I'm gelling with this and the throttle response is so responsive on this 1300, it really is. It really goes, and when, when, you, when you give it a handful and it will start coming up, you're like, what is going on here? This is a GS, it shouldn't do this. I'm going to do a fourth gear overtake again on the... Uh... Okay, I will do the same. And they give, they give it a full handful to see how it, how it likes it. Ah, oh, it's plenty of punch. This is still pretty impressive though. That's still pulled really it's, it's nicely. It's fine, isn't it? Yeah, it does. It, you don't, it doesn't seem like it's lacking. You don't think, oh, it's la it needs more, it's lacking. It really doesn't. I totally agree. You know, I don't own either bike, but you know, even this early on, if it, to all those 1250 owners out there, do you need to rush out and buy a 1300? I really don't think so. To be honest, I just think, you know, it's, it's not, it's not like earth moon improvement is it it's just slightly better fine but that's still very good the 1250. yeah and no, i would agree it, it, it does feel very nice and the power delivery is nice it feels smooth it feels refined not maybe not quite as refined but we're talking sort of five percent we're talking marginal really marginal the quick shifter again it's a bit better on the 1300, 20 percent better let's call it but th there's really nothing wrong with this i mean if you want all the latest tech and then of course it's the r1300 but if you're happy with sort of more of a let's say what a basic buy a basic cruise control basic electronic suspension no ride height control there's really nothing wrong with this is there no i agree i think uh the, the looks are a consideration because you know that the back end of the 1250 that you're on now i think in my humble opinion looks a little bit maybe dated i know you've got the the lights in the indicators now but it's still got a tail light J just touch the brakes it's the middle light the brake oh yeah okay so you've got the, the the tail lights are in the indicators and then they light up more if you brake and the middle light brakes what's the, what's going on, on the rear end of this are you braking i am now oh you are now yeah uh, it's all lighting up more brighter all the outside but i think you're right looks wise I do think the, uh, I prefer the looks of the new bike. I know that yes, a lot of people yeah. don't, but for me, it just looks more modern. It looks sleeker. It's, it's not anything. When it thinks new, it's always a bit like, oh, I don't like that. But when you adjust, I remember when the Mark IV Escort came out, I thought, oh, it's horrible. It's too, it's too sculpted. It's not boxy enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing my age now. How's your heated grips? They're quite hot, aren't they? The, uh... the very, yeah, well, I, I've got heated gloves on and the heated grips are on, so I reckon that you could probably fry an egg on my hand at the moment. 
Uh, but some of these roads around here actually are quite rough. There's some rough areas and I'm in dynamic mode on this 1300 and I've got to say, very, very comfortable suspension setup. I'm actually gonna just change back to, uh, to road if that's all right and just compare. I'm in dynamic on the 1250 as well and it's quite, it's getting a little bit jarring over that bumpy bit back there. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna go back to, uh, I'm gonna put it back in road mode. And you can feel the whole body sort of go relax a bit more, can't you? And it's like a bit more squishy. I think in these conditions, actually, road mode feels actually very nice. Just to take that harshness off a little bit. Yeah. And also the throttle response is softened slightly. Yeah, correct. I'm not sure you're going to be able to get the wheel up so easily in road mode, though, Greg, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> there's a crashed Tesla there. All smashed up Tesla. Oh, yeah. That's... um. There's a Tesla, a Tesla dealer near here. They've obviously taken it out for a test ride, a test drive rather, and binned it. Well, Elon's been on the beers again. Yeah, there's not as much there power-wise. You can feel it's, it still pulls all the way to the red line though. It's still got a really nice pull. We do our little roll-on test in a minute. And <laughs> when we've had our coffee, and we'll see how much quicker. Maybe these are the bikes where I'm finally gonna win a drag race when I'm, on a, when I'm on one of the bikes. Maybe these are the two. Maybe this is my chance to win a drag race. No chance. Woohoo! God, this is surprisingly quick, this 1300. I know, it really goes. I'm, I'm noticing actually when I'm revving this, I know we said it still felt very refined. I think as you rev it, it's, it gets a little bit more vibrant, and a little bit less refined. Well, I think that one keeps the refinedness more throughout the rev range, if you see what I mean. Yeah. That's probably not explained that very well, but uh, I hope you get my drift. Oh, this roundabout could be a right pain sometimes. <laughs> you can't blame the 1250 for that. <laughs> You're probably already at Costa, aren't you? <laughs> well, whilst I'm out of range from Chopsy, I will report in this is a very, very comfortable bike, this new 1300. And uh, if it's a refinement that you're after in your GS, I don't think you can go too far wrong because it is seriously refined. And um, I am quite impressed, I've got to say. I don't like admitting I like GSs. I feel it was a bit tragic. I don't know why, so apologies to any GS owners. This is actually bloody nice and impressive. So yeah, happy days. But here we are, time for a coffee. Can't bloody wait. There you go, lovely. You there, mate? You there? I'm, no, I'm here. I'm just I'm talking to myself, up. I was. So it's a bit slow this 1250, I couldn't keep up with you. Are you can you hear me? I can hear you now, I've caught up with you. How do you where, where's the ignition button? Uh, on it's this? where the heated grips were on this one. Not that you know where that oh, is. Yeah. It's on the right, yeah. right hand switch gear. Got ya. Okay, so that's the only button. Oh and the screen's going down. Yeah, yeah. Screen's going down, the bike's lowered. Oh my god. This is this is really bloody good. I even like the gadgets at this stage. It's just sort of, because they're helpful. It's like lowers the bike down. It's really easy to get off the bike. Oh my God. It does have um, a bit of a burning smell. smell. I think that? that's this one. Is it that one, is it? Yeah. Is that the heat? See, I think your underpants are on fire. <laughs> <laughs> So we've had a little cup of splosh, a bit of coffee, warmed ourselves up. Well, I wasn't actually that cold anyway, mate, was you? It was oh, all right, no, wasn't I, it? Was, I wasn't cold. And actually, we're now swapping back. So I'm back onto the 1250 now, which I'm looking forward to, having got off the 1300. And I've, I've kind of got mixed feelings. I, I was a bit like when I first jumped on the 1300, oh, it's, it's sort of different, slightly better, maybe not. But actually, having now ridden it for probably about half an hour, you start to realise what a good bike it is, actually. Yeah, so. I'd like to do 20 minutes, 25 minutes, half an hour on the 12.50 now and see yeah. kind of what's happening. Well, we head down our little, little nice little road we tend to do in the summer. We give them a little workout. Let's try and sort of, let's do our little roll on. Let's give them through the gears, through the revs a little bit more. Because I've, I've fancied that that is a little bit less refined as you rev it. Whereas I think this is more refined as the revs increase. So uh, let's start them up first of all and get that heated seat, heated grips back on. This 12.50 is slightly louder yeah, it is, the, even though this has got the aftermarket yeah. Kopovich on, it's loud, isn't it? Isn't it? it is, yeah. definitely. In, in a good way, I, I prefer the, the sound of this. It sound, The 1250 sounds a little bit meatier, doesn't it? So I've right, screwed over, drill, get the baffles out, you'll be sorted. Yeah, you're definitely sitting more in the 1250. And it definitely feels, yeah, it definitely feels... 
slightly less refined. Yeah. It looks lower, doesn't it? I mean, just look how much lower it looks. Wait, but your bike has lowered now because It has you're... lowered, yeah, that's very yeah. true. My, my feet are just right there. And what I do like about that is it enables you to touch the ground without having to get the low seat option and then cramp your legs more. So you, you've, you've got the ability to get your feet down and not, you know, and have, uh, have your legs comfortable. Yeah, when I say that the 1300 is more refined, it sort of implies this is not refined, but this just feels a little bit more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A bit, a little bit more raw, I would say. A little bit more agricultural, tiny bit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I definitely think the wind buffeting on the 1250 is, is more profound than the 1300, but I want to make sure this screen is fully up, which I think it is. But I want to just stop and vote. I might do that before we do the Morstead Road. Just quickly check if you don't mind. There's definitely, with this bike, you have to jump it back on it again. There's a better connection with the tarmac. You get a little bit more feedback, a bit more feel of what the bike's doing and how much grip you've got. It's a little bit vaguer on the 1250, I would say. Right, oh, there you go. It was, I beg your pardon. So that, that wasn't right up, actually. So I'm, I'm going to just move that. That is now definitely fully up. Fully, fully erect. So, You're fully, fully erect, erect now. No brewer's droop so far? <laughs> no, we're all good. It's just so low when you're stopping and starting. Even if you're tall, it's just nice to have a low bike. I think that's a lovely feature on that 1300 until it all goes wrong. Well, that's, that's, <laughs> uh, that is true, that, that is true. And then you've got a GS that's extremely low forever. Or extremely or, high forever. Yeah, or extremely <laughs> high forever, exactly. I definitely am preferring the front brake on the 1300. It's definitely got more feel than this. I'll tell you what it's like. It reminds me of when I rode the new GSX-R compared to my K8. Everything is just slightly better. There's nothing wrong with my K8, but the new GSX-R was just slightly better in every respect. And I think it's the same story here. And I think you can still buy 1250s, can't you, new? Obviously, you, remaining stock. And there's still quite a lot of money, I think. So you might be better off just going for the 1300 and be done with it. Or you can get yourself a nice second-hand bargain through Barnstormer. <laughs> perfect example of a bike here. Well, this one here, exactly. It's, it's, I mean, it's perfect. I don't know what the miles are on this because they're not displaying. We can have a look, but it's, yeah, there's nothing wrong with this bike, that's for sure. And it can be, you can say, oh, I've got the bike used in the review. No, they're probably, they're probably charging premium for it now. It's got some pedigree because it's been on Lamb Chops ride. We've got a nice little portaloo in front, mate. Make sure that doesn't tip over. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? The grunt when you open this up though, if you, if you, you can use the revs on this bike, uh, sort of get, it, get that revving a bit and see what you feel to the, yeah. to the how refined the engine feels, because I think it, I mean it's a box of twin, they don't like revving really, but they've done an amazing job on this one. Yeah, the 1250 is definitely harsher in the upper rev range. Yeah, it is. So once you go above sort of 5,000 revs, it, it, that, that, it feels a little bit more raw, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think we'll be getting scraping pegs today. <laughs> or if we do, it'll be followed by our shoulder <laughs> helmet. <laughs> don't say it. Yeah, I think we'll just meander along down here and enjoy the scenery and indeed the comfort. Now that the screen is up on this bike to the fully up position, it feels similar. I think it's marginally more buffety than the 1300, but but not not enough to, to worry about it. It's still pretty good. I'm happy. I'll tell you what, let's do a bit of a roll on while we're on this bit of straight road here, Greg. Let's do a... OK. There's nothing behind us. Let's do from uh, 20 miles an hour, or 15 second miles gear. an hour, second gear. Yeah. 15? 15. Let's do, oh, that's almost better... stopped. Yeah, that really, that really tests that low end drive. Go on then, count it in. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Woo. <laughs> you weren't dropping me like you have done in the past with the weight difference. I was starting to pull you in a little bit there. So we, we'll see what it's like when we, we swap. And also it was like trying to wheelie this. I was like having to Let's do third gear. feather the throttle. Third. Third, oh, gear, yeah. third gear, 30 mile an hour. Okay. In go on. three, two, one, go. Oh, spinning. Spinning up. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you're still, you were pulling away. I think it's the weight, so we, we won't really tell the difference until we swap bikes. But based on previous experience, because I'm 20 stone, what, how much are you, about 13 stone, Greg, are you, something like that? Oh, you, I'm 12 stone, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like me having a, it's like you're having a pillion on. That's, that's the difference in weight, isn't that's it? That's a big so, difference, isn't it? Yeah, so when we do the swap, you'll probably absolutely trounce me, because normally you do, don't you? So to the fact that I'm even sticking with you shows that this is actually a lot more powerful. But, but in all seriousness, um, it's, 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 it's a little bit of a silly test. It's just interesting to do it. They're, they're very, very similar performance-wise. The, the, the 1300, you can, it's more powerful, you can feel it. Uh, and it's just that little bit easier to overtake but but the 1250 equally it's got so much grunt anyway it's, it's it that should not be a purchase decision it's more about the refinement i think in terms of it's usable it's not just at the top where it's got Correct. 10 horsepower it feels that even just doing overtaking from 2000 revs you can feel it's just got more more behind it. it's got more pull hasn't it and it's really sort of usable power really useful power this is a good test of the suspension actually try bang it into dynamic now and let's just see because in road mode, this feels absolutely lovely down here. Absolutely lovely. Let's Mine too, to but I'm, uh, I'm in dynamic. You can definitely feel it firm up more, and you've got a bit, you've got more support for sure. Yeah, you could definitely feel it, can't you? So, yeah, so it's a lot, quite a lot different actually. But you've got, you know, you're getting sort of sporty. Dare you say the word, sort of sporty in a GS, but. You're getting that sort of feedback, aren't you? Where you can feel what the tarmac's doing. You're not just being wafted along with no idea what's going on beneath you. You can feel what's going on beneath you. It's really quite surprising. We certainly can on this one, anyway. We'll do a, let's, pull up, let's pull over up here, Greg, and we'll do a straight swap back. Let's have a little sound test. Back. It's got a nice, nice little pop. <laughs> nice little pop to it. Let's have a go on the... Uh, here you go. Oh, we need the bloody key again, don't we? Oh, Sorry. One thing we found on the on the 1300, you've got that lovely little cubby hole. You can actually put the key in there. No cubby holes on the uh, 1250. So even though you've got all this extra frontage, <laughs> there's less storage. Louder. Yeah. It's definitely louder, isn't it? Let's have another little rev on this one. <laughs> Sounds to me. <laughs> much louder, isn't it? Much louder. <laughs> this is spin this is spinning up there when you really give it a handful. <laughs> it's going oh, no. There isn't much grip out there. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry to say, but the it's a bit predictable, but the 1300 just is that little bit better. It just feels that little bit more sorted. And you know it's getting close to perfection, really. And that's not to criticise the 1250. I would be happy with that, but this just feels so sorted. You need to back to back it to really notice. I think it's quite subtle, but in every respect, as I said, it's just a bit better in every respect, isn't it? I even say the screen is better. I'm getting much more wind noise with this screen all the way up than what I am on the 1300 so they've done an amazing job of a wind tunnel testing that you know everything they've just i mean this is this is bmw's biggest selling bike they, they had to get this right and they absolutely have what is the price of this 1300 22 grand is that right in this trim well that one with all of the extras on it apart from the adaptive headlight it's got everything else is just under 23,000. But that's because it's an extra two and a half just for the Tramontanas. If, you if you're not worried about the colour and that billet options, you know, you, you don't really need that. I think that you need to spend, to an equivalent spec to this, I think you need to spend about 18 and a half, push it to 19 maybe if you want the TE version. I think it's 18 and a half, the TE with the electronic suspension, you know, the quick shifter blipper, all of the toys you, you're really going to want. It's another 500 quid if you want the suspension that goes up and down. And I probably would get that because I'm actually, I would, I do, I would I'm really well. liking yeah. that. But yeah, that's the sort of, you're talking probably a £19,000 bike to get one which is well specced up. They're sorting right in front of the road that are gritting, gritting right in front of us. <laughs> this is so disgusting. Oh, look at the shit coming out of that. Oh, God, I'm getting peppered. <laughs> the, the 1250 is a lovely bike. 
I wouldn't want one. I'm, I'm not thinking I want to buy a 1250. It's, it's a brilliant workhorse, I think, this 1250. It does everything fantastically, but it's not given me that that feeling that I wouldn't actually mind one of these, whereas I am getting that on the 1300. I think it's just it's just a little bit more dynamic feeling and the, the, the feedback you're getting from the road, it's it's a little bit, it's more exciting than the 1250, even in the shitty weather conditions like this. So we've now swapped and we are going to do another roll-on test, but the difference being I'm on the 1300. I am slightly lighter than yourself, Chopsy, aren't I? Just a tad. <laughs> What should we do? Sec sec second gear? I think we, we could do second gear. It's a bit petrifying. Let's get around this corner. You've got to put your faith in the BMW electronics. You're all right on that one. I I've got the more rudimentary stuff on the older bike. Right, second gear. So let's get down to nearly 15, as slow as we can. Third gear, second gear, sorry. Yeah. Se second gear, second gear. Count it in, count it in. Okay, three. three. In two, two in one. Traffic light. We can't do it Go. here, look. We, we've got traffic lights up ahead, oh. look. <laughs> 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 well, I can't start. I don't want to be tested out <laughs> the ABS on these bikes. <laughs> 20 miles an hour. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, you're pulling away. Sorry about my language, you need to bleep that out. Did the wheel come up? Did the wheel did it try and wheelie? Yeah, it was trying to wheelie and I was losing grip, so it was a little bit like, so definitely you need a lot of bleepage there. I don't want that in there. <laughs> this is quicker, definitely. It's definitely quicker, isn't it? And, and I would say that this likes to rev, whereas that gets a bit buzzy, doesn't it, when you get up to about five and a half, six grand. It definitely feels a bit raw, doesn't it, as you start to rev it. You, you wouldn't really want to rev this, would you? It doesn't feel like it's enjoying being revved, whereas that feels like it's like, come on, give me some revs, I'm quite happy with this. Yeah, definitely. This, this 1300 engine is going to be very good in the naked R version and the RS, isn't it? It's going to be very, very good. It's going to be brilliant, isn't it? It's going to be brilliant. I'm looking forward to trying that R. That 1300R is going to be absolutely fantastic, yeah. Let's do a, roll, a third gear roll on because we did that last time, didn't we, as well? Uh, In roll three, time. two, one, go! Woo! Yeah, you're picking up quicker. I'm surprised, I thought it would be more than that. But it, it just it just goes to show that you know it, it's it's the way it's, it's the how it makes that extra power. It just it just feels faster than it actually looks. I'm quite surprised you're not pulling away a bit more than what you actually are. It feels faster than that. But I think that's all that matters. It feels just it just feels more responsive. It feels more flexible, and it likes to rev, so you can kind of ride it as you want to ride it, and it seems perfectly happy no matter what. And they're, you know, so it's definitely, it's definitely quicker. It's not Earth Moon quicker. It's just quicker. I'm with you though. I, I hate to admit, it, I could, I could own one of these, and be quite happy with it. And what a workhorse! It'd be brilliant. I know. You could do, you could literally do anything. Well, I, I guess a track yeah. day might be a push, but no, not everything track day, else that'd be awful. you yeah. can do on that bike, can't you? You know, it's it's in, it's an incredibly versatile. And what really surprises me, surprises me, is. You've got that extra performance, you've got that extra dynamicness to the bike and that feedback for, for people like us who like to be we're hooligans at heart, you know? And But that hasn't sacrificed any of the other parts of the bike. The rideability is still as good. The comfort still is good. So it's really incredible that they've added more, more dy dynamicism. <laughs> is that a word? Dynism, it, dynism. Dynism, dynism, yeah. But, uh, but they haven't sacrificed any of the other elements no. of it. Whereas if you look at like the, the Multistrada V4 or the Super Adventure KTM, they, they're more dynamic, but they've, the comfort suffered because of that. It, nothing, nothing's got any worse on that bike. Oh, everything is improved. Just as a final comment, something we haven't mentioned. They're both, but the 1300 particularly, they're so easy to ride. Everything, everything just feels right, natural, and it's just easy. And, and that makes it a pleasure as well, because you can almost not have to think about it, you just enjoy it. And that's, I love that. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Well impressed. We're impressed. So uh, there we go. Massive thanks to Barnstormer for, for lending us the 1250. Really appreciate it. I'll put links to their website below. And so they've got a really good selection of used 1250s and, and obviously all the other BMW range as well. So go check them out. Really appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Gregorio, for lending your opinions. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Really enjoyed it.
always great to have you doing these comparisons we're going to do a, a lot more we're going to do a lot of these comparisons this year as well um, and uh, yeah so if, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and we'll see you on the next one cheers guys